breaking news. CESPNND challenged IPOP to open debates. The Coalition of Southeast Professionals Network in Nigeria and Aspura has accused the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP of bringing terrorism, kidnapping, extortion, armed robbery, and the likes of the Southeast. CSEPNND stated this in a reaction to a statement where IPOB described it as a fake and non existent group created by the Department of the, of the States, the DSS. CSEPNDD further described the claim by IPOP as laughable and diversity. The coalition noted that its president, Prof. Madumeri Chika, is a well-known academic scholar with many academic works proven to his record. They also added that it has the headquarters in Aqua Anambra State and challenged IPOP and its spokesman to a live protest, live press conference on the same date and time. The state by its national president, Prof. Madumeri Chika, and the national secretary, Mazi Anayo. CSE PND dismissed the demand of Emmanuel Powerful for their identity and their villages, saying that they would not akin to that given what IPOB is known for. According to the Igbo professionals, the intention of the proscribed organization was aimed at arming its famous president, his family, and community ends wouldn't succumb to the rests and the requests. But the group which rather claimed that there was no human being bearing Emmanuel Powerful anywhere in the world challenged IPOB and his spokesman to a live press press conference for identity revelation. Our attention has been drawn to a watery and uncoordinated response to our call on the Nigerian authorities to request the extradition of Mr. Namdi Khan from one inconsequential and spiritual character, this so-called Emmanuel Powerful, a claimed spokesman for the proscribed terrorist group known as the Indigenous People of Biafra IPOP, which Mr. Nandukan led. In its response to our call for the repatriation of the IPOP fugitive leader, Nandukan, the terrorist image loud, louder did not allow refer to our group as being the creation of the Department of State Services DSS, but also being a fake and non existent one. According to Manuel Powerful, who has not been seen, cited anywhere, or known by any evil man, woman, or any person anywhere in the world, went further to deny the existence of our of our reverend and famous president, Prof. Madumere Chika, who is not only recognized nationally, but also internationally. The statements read in part. The group added that we hasten to, st we hasten to state here that the IPOP response to the non-existent Emmanuel Powerful 
and is diversionary with the in intent to blackmail our highly treasured DSS and the Nigerian state from doing the needful or on Mr. Nnamdi Kanu's repatriation. Ordinarily, we would not have we do not have dignified the claimed spokesman on the proscribed ter terrorists with further response so as not to accord him and I pop any form of legitimacy in the eyes of the reading public but for the purpose of some innocent readers who may fall to many powerful concocted lies. We are duly incorporated with all the relevant bodies in Nigeria and have been operating since 2014. It is loud, it's laughable for Emmanuel Powerful, the terrorist group spokesman, whose real identity is in big question, to claim to know all the associations of Igbo extraction in Nigeria and diaspora, as if IPO is a corporate affair commission of Nigeria, which have the constitutional responsibility of registering all associations in the country. We wonder if all associations in Igbo land come to IPO for incorporation for Emeka Emeka powerful to have knowledge of all groups from the South East and it further said. We challenge Namdi Kanu and Emmanuel Powerful to address a live press conference in Nigeria since they claim that we are non-existent. We challenge them to a live press, press conference on same date with us, it said. Let us be clear again that we denounce Namdi Kanu and his terrorist group. Namdi Kanu and his bunch, bunch of misinformed group cannot even speak for, for or lead the Igbo nation. We retreat our demand for the repatriation of Namdi Kanu to Nigeria to face his criminal trial, it said. <laughs> Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. You can imagine this so called, uh, 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 what do call it, the leader of the coalition of South East Professional Network in Nigeria is a stupid idiot. He's so stupid to the extent that his brain has been uh, turned upside down. Imagine what he's saying about Namdi Kanu an IPOB member. Is it because the first person that said it was President Modi Buhari calling IPOB a terrorist group? Now they have been carrying this rumor everywhere and then claiming that Namdi Kanu and his group are all uh, uh, criminals. They are kidnappers they are rob arm robbers, they are rapists and all of that. This is a blunt lie. No matter what anything anybody says about Namdi Kano or IPOP member, nobody will believe. The supporter of IPOP will never believe the nonsense they are, that they are saying about this person, Namdi Kano. Never. Imagine. The civilian EK. Umachukus are still here. Namdi Khan is not a terrorist group and also committed to, no, to he, has not, he has never committed any crime before. Imagine. Those evil professionals, are they very blind to the plight of Igbos in Nigeria? If you answer that question, not even as you ask asking them any question, they are blind. 
They are so blind to the plight of evils in Nigeria. The presidency has also rotated west and south. But this so-called southeast turn, turn is now a matter of welfare. Imagine what those professionals are saying. Those professionals, if they are evil, they should surface for, for their necessary stoning and not saying stupid things about someone that never offended them, that never even offended the country. Imagine, this Madumere is a stupid man. Is a man that does not even exist. To me, he doesn't exist. He just came out all of a sudden and started criticizing Namdi Kanu. You can imagine. Namdi Kanu must be right that it is a creation of DSS. It's very right. So, viewers, I want to watch Namdi Kanu and I pop to go and sleep, to relax. No matter what they, are, they say about them, nobody will believe it. IPOP members and supporter of Biafran Republic will never believe anything like such. So, viewers, what is your take on this? Your comment concerning this news is of great importance. Please, don't hesitate to drop every of your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. Thank you.